Everybody, it's Tyler from First Updates Now. We're here with Gabriel, Charles, and Thomas from 610 Crescent Robotics, one of the best gear runners in First Robotics we've seen this year. Uh, absolutely fantastic robot guys. What's led to all your success this year so far that you've had? Uh, I feel like it's been our gear running. It's helped us uh, a lot. Um, as you can tell, all the rotors are 40 points, and if we get all four rotors, we usually would tend to win the match, and alongside with the solid hang, I feel like it's really helped us. So tell me a little bit about the uh, design of this robot. When you guys are looking at, at the game challenge here, I see you still have capabilities to do fuel and that sort of thing. Uh, where did you go? What, what was the thought process when you first got this year's game challenge? All right, so uh, uh, through our uh, strategy meeting, uh, we came up uh, with a strategy that primarily does gears and shoot a little at the peg as well. So that's what we try to do. Um, a lot of the times we're just shooting uh, we're just shooting when we score the pegs, so we pop two or three shots in the high goal, uh, just like lob them in. A lot of times it doesn't go in, uh, but that, that was kind of like the idea of our robot. So we started with the gear manipulator, we went to the shooter, and then our hopper was a little bit of like after week uh, two thing. So it was, um, uh, yeah, it was in that kind of order. So. So, so tell me about it as this year has progressed for you guys. What iterations have you made with your robot? What, what has changed as you go from event to event to event? What changes have you guys made so far? Uh, yeah, I say, okay. Yeah, so uh, at, look, at, at every event, we try to look at uh, what we can improve every time. So our first, first, our first event, our gear uh, outtake was really slow, so we put a sensor in the uh, gear manipulator to outtake it. Second, uh, second, uh, second tournament, we, um, our gear intake was really slow, so we put a little bar across the top to uh, dampen, the, uh, dampen the gear. Uh, third tournament, uh, we were improving our shooter. Um, our shooter went from scoring basically nothing in autonomous to scoring 10 this time in autonomous, or uh, this competition in autonomous, so. Do you want to add anything yeah. for that? Uh, well, yeah, the main thing I feel like the biggest improvement was our uh, sensor for our gear, so when it spits it out, once the peg goes in, our sensor senses it and it automatically hits it out and that really improved our cycle times and helped us become one of the best gearbots in the world. You guys are currently ranked 18th right now and as we look into the playoffs, you guys go in there, you know, you're hoping for a top eight spot, that's not there, but you're probably going to get picked pretty high. Um, so if you were to look at your Optimal Alliance partner, what are you most interested in to be paired with in your division? Uh, I think we'd say we're looking for like a 40k, 40 kPa plus shooter. Uh, just something that goes well with like the whole gear mechanism, but like someone who can score gears as well, uh, so we can get that four rotors or yeah, four rotors, twelve gears. Absolutely. So uh, we got to ask now. This will be shown afterwards, anyways. Who, who's your who's your favorite pick so far? If you could be picked by anyone, or you were the number one seed, who do you think you guys would go with? Oh. Everyone say something different. Yeah. No. Everyone says something different. It's a heavy question. 1986, 33, 10. I say thir I, 33, 10. I would say. Yeah. I think 1114 because of their uh, gear mechanism. 3310. So, popular team here so far. Good luck to you guys uh, in this competition. We'll see you guys in the playoffs. Hopefully, looking for a deep run here. Thank you, Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.